The importance of the trail arm in the golf swing is absolutely huge. And I think it's become more and more apparent over the last few years as well, when golfers are now kind of really focusing their attempts on getting this trail arm into a better position. Now, in better position at setup, better position during the backswing, but also, I think more, almost, almost more importantly, but the two before it that precede it need to be perfect as well, is the positioning of the trail elbow on the trail arm, I should say, on the downswing, whether you cast it or whether you swing the club from out to in. If you do one of those two things, or both, then stay tuned to this video because it's going to massively help you. It's going to give you a really good understanding of where this arm should be during your setup position, where it should be during your backswing, and how we can move those two positions and make your downswing better as well. So stay tuned. This tip is going to be gold for you. I'm sure. If you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. There's loads of content on here. There's golf tips, there's course vlogs, there's, there's all sorts, you name it. The course vlogs are not just for kind of entertainment purposes. They're also for kind of course management and hopefully you can learn some things from those videos as well. All right, to get us started, we're going to be talking about the setup. So first of all, I think you need a neutral grip or a neutral-ish grip. Anyone that's kind of got a really strong or a really, really weak grip, what you see there straight away is how it affects my whole arm. If I've got a weak grip, what happens is the trail arm gets a little bit too straight, it gets a bit too locked. Also, my elbow points out and away from my body. How does that translate to a golf swing, I hear you ask? Well, it would generally end up in that position, and on the way down, it's very easy to end up in that position, but also it's very difficult to get that hinging of the wrist. So there's a lot of weak moves within the golf swing. You've got the cast, you've got the out to win, which is not necessarily weak, but it's very weak with a cast. And it's also very weak if you're not able to really utilize the hinging of the wrists. If you've got a really strong grip, you'll notice that the trail elbow is very much in my body here, but because of the positioning of my hands, it will often encourage the trail elbow to now point out behind my body. So again, in a very weak and poor position. So what I want you to try and do, Ideally, go and go back into my library and check out some golf grip videos so they're gonna really help you as well. It doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be amazingly neutral, it just needs to be a little bit more towards neutral than you already are. If I'm talking to you now and you've got a very weak or a very strong grip. Right now, positioning of this trail arm. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it out right in front of me. I'm gonna pull it back in, I'm gonna close my armpit, and I'm gonna encourage my elbow, the elbow bone here, to be right into my stomach. Now, as I do that, my forearm now faces up to the sky, all right? But what I wanna try and make sure I do to get that neutral grip is turn my wrist. And that's a key one, because a lot of golfers, they when, they when I say turn your hand, they turn the whole arm, okay? So we've got to be able to separate all these joints and make them work independently. So the trail elbow is into the body and we've closed over the hands. So we've got that neutral grip. Now, from setup, we've got this lead elbow relaxed, so trail elbow relaxed and into the body and this lead arm nice and straight, nice and strong. The reason why this stays relaxed is because straight away into the, take, into the takeaway, it folds. We don't want to see both arms locked out straight and trying to get that straight wide takeaway. That's not width, that's stretched. That's width. Notice how it's not really changed that much. Okay, so even with my trail elbow bending, I've not got narrow, have I? Okay, but what I have got is I've got connected. Okay, so this trail elbow now and the armpit just stays nice and close into the side of the rib cage as I start to take the club away. All right, that's a nice neutral takeaway position. As I rotate up to the top of the back swing, because my grip's nice and neutral, I've got that little bit more wrist hinge. And because I've got the correct wrist hinge, I'm encouraging the elbow hinge to be correct and hinge as well. So I've got a nice compact but wide back takeaway and back swing and keeping the golf swing nice and connected during the movement on the way up to the top of the back swing, but also keeping everything pretty neutral. Had I, had I got the two arms straight and this trail elbow bending a little bit later, it would have bent about around about here. Had I got to the top of the back swing with that, I've got very little wrist hinge and the elbow out. Now, if I start to swing back down to the body, everyone knows that you've got to rotate towards the target 
and this right, this trail elbow will naturally start to straighten, the club will end up casting and pushing away from the body. Also, what we see on the way down is a huge disconnect here between armpit, tricep, bicep, and elbow on the way down, which again is a very weak position. The position we want the trail elbow to be in is going to be a lot more connected on the way down. And the reason for it is once we get to the top of the backswing, once we've got that set up right, we've got the backswing working correctly, which I'm going to come into in a second, the downswing's got to have that kind of U shape there between bicep, forearm, and golf club. And the reason we want that is it's going to help you maintain the wrist hinge on the way on halfway down because we don't want this really to release until we get into the golf ball. I was kind of trying to say, imagine as you get to here, it's now just almost gravity that releases it, which is not fully true, but it's a nice thing to have. You don't want the you don't want it to release over here. So you want the club the release the release of the wrist hinge to be late, not just for distance and speed, but also quality of ball striking as we can compress down into the golf ball. Once we get that release too early and this right elbow gets too disconnected, the golf club can come in a lot shallower. So you don't actually compress the golf ball at all. If anything, you just kind of scoop it. Very easy to then fat or thin the shot as well. And even get in there, that horrible shank, which we don't want to talk about. So the position on the, as we spoke about the position already on the setup, on the way back, we've mentioned about the takeaway. We want to try and keep this right elbow in nice and connected to the body. As we rotate to the top of the backswing, again, we want this, el this trail elbow to be pointing more down in that direction. I don't want it out behind my body, okay? I don't want it up. I want it just kind of pointing diagonally down towards the ground, okay? So we're there, nice high wide top of the backswing position. The positioning of the grip has allowed my wrist to hinge in the correct angle as well. And now as I start to come back down, I'm going to work this trail elbow back into the side of my rib cage. So that as I get into that position, I've done two things. I've got a beautiful swing path. I've got the club angle being maintained as well. So I've got the, sh the face nice and square. I've got the shaft angle nice and square. And I've got this kind of U shape that I mentioned earlier, which is going to massively help me with the quality of ball striking. So that's going to be the key move on the way down there, just kind of making sure that the trail elbow just tucks itself into the side of the rib cage and then the body can release and rotate into the golf ball from there. Just like that. Once again, folks, you'll have noticed I've changed location to finish this video due to a very busy golf course. And also now we've lost another golf ball because I've hit it straight into the hazard. Terrible clubbing from me. So, <laughs> another golf ball bites the dust. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, helps me buy golf balls as well. That's a really key element to these golf videos. So right arm, hugely important from setup, has to be correct, because it sets you up into how good your takeaway is gonna be, how your backswing is gonna be, how your downswing and your transition can be, and most important part of the golf swing, how good your impact can be. If this tip has helped you, jump in the comments section below. Let me know what's helped you, what part of the video has kind of resonated most with you. Also, I like to kind of keep up to date with golfers and their practice sessions. So let me know how you've taken this onto the range and what's been your kind of specific swing thought moving forward on this as well. Guys, as ever, thank you so much for watching the videos and I'll see you next time.